quite happy to give it out, but you can't take it. Nah, mate. you can't take it because I've spoken the truth and no, you don't, don't like know. the truth. The truth hurts, Willie, and there you are. And I'm not the only one. There's another five million people will back me. Uh, back here, they'll be booting you out of the border. Aye, that'll be the day. That'll be the day. They'll be they'll be voting me in in charge of a conservative nationalist government under the crown. Never and, happen. And the so. first thing we'll do is have you shipped to the Tower of London and Good. left there. Good. Good. Yes, yeah, you enjoy yourself down there. And when the ravens leave, that's it. Your time's up, Willie. Your bones will be picked by the ravens, my friend. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you really do make me laugh. I thought people like you were all the way now. No. <laughs> I thought you all got transported to Australia. Listen, you'll be stuck aside the rest of the Edinburgh. Listen, if you're, so, if you're so keen in a republic, why are you not living in Australia? Why are you not living in Russia? Because I'm a Scot. I was born. Ah, you're a Scots. You're a shocker. You, you should be ashamed to call yourself a Scotsman. No way you turn I court. bet you've got a big pair of fluffy knickers under your kilt. <laughs> That's the level you're at, my friend. Welcome to the house of Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo. The Scotty McClue Madhouse. Today is, of course, St Andrew's Day, and with me to discuss this special day for Scotland is broadcaster Scotty McClue. How are you today, Scotty, and how is Scotland? Oh, very well, Stacey. A very, very snowy Scotland this morning, of course. I've just arrived for work about three hours late. Terrific deep snow, about two feet of it in some occasions. And, of course, it's uh, holding up the whole of central Scotland. But uh, it's uh, a more important day because it's the feast day of St Andrew, the 30th of November, the patron saint of Scotland. And uh, this is Scotland's official national day when we fly our national flag, the saltire, with the blue background and the white cross. Now, um, I don't know if you know about the background or your listeners know about the background to the flag, but uh, it was actually a legend about a battle in Athol Stainford in East Lothian in the east of Scotland, or Ail Stainford, and the night before the battle, King Ingus vowed that uh, if he was granted victory, he would appoint St Andrew as the patron saint of Scotland, and the legend states that he actually engaged in prayer on the eve of the battle, and in the morning they looked up and there was the blue sky with a white diagonal cross. And uh, that was the start of the Saltire flag. And, of course, St Andrew's diagonal cross was because St Andrew wanted to be crucified on that cross rather than be crucified on the same cross as Jesus Christ, his Lord and Master. So it's essentially a Christian festival, St Andrew.